Sorry day. Where's that? Where's my teeth? Mm -hmm. Okay, so Ryan's wiping me down right now. Oh, I'm freezing. So where do I go to? Just like everywhere except my private parts. Do you know, like my neck and just not my face? So she was basically telling me, <laughs> she was like, so you have to be ready by the time that they come up here. So we're trying to like be fast because I guess they, oh my God, I'm so cold. Um, but I guess they're like taking me back. I don't know what to do what. I might have like an appointment with an endocrine. But I, I slept pretty good. She was coming in and out of here a lot. Like all night to check my vitals last night. My blood pressure was down a lot. But she said that it could have just been because like I had the sleepy medicine and my body was sleepy. And then I had like some stress and anxiety so. It could have been a combination, but she came back in a little bit and it, it and it was better. Do I have to put this up on you? I don't think so. Oh, she might. Because I guess I'm going to be laying flat for a while and I have to have like some sort of like compression. The care team has been called. <sighs> At least you're the first of the day you get knocked out. Yeah. Good boy. We go our separate ways. Not yet. <laughs> you're gonna do it. Alright. I'm gonna be waiting right here. I'll be waiting for you. You'll wake up and you'll see me. Yeah. So. I was like really anxious last night. Like, I have a little bit of like nerves now, but I think like the sleep got me ready. Yeah. Like my body was able to like detach for a second. Sleeping out the ice cream. What's crazy though is her prolactin levels. They came back and said that they actually spiked in the in the past two weeks. Yeah. That's pretty crazy. Like it spiked almost double of what it was. Yeah. Yeah. It's just crazy. Like what the came about me like does but like how you feel to it it's like you would almost start lactating again yeah like if i were to take it for another and i feel like this is it. why it's been so yeah it's like it's a constant like cycle yeah this is gonna be good this is gonna be good and then think about it it's good to hear that they did spike but then you're gonna see a drop a drop right away just get this thing out two-year battle is going to be finally over with. Okay, so I think the area that I'm in now is like the pre-op. I don't know if this is like where I'm going to come back for recovery, but I'm in here and she just, I had to change my gown again. I have compression socks on. They're like taking my vitals. Um, I have a like a, a, like a warmer while I'm doing all this like pre-op stuff. Ryan's in the waiting room and he'll come back here when we start talking to the doctors and all that. All of the doctors and the nurses here are so nice. I got my cap on. Might have to do another one. He just said that it's gonna be good and they said that they're gonna strap my arms down whenever I get out <laughs> <laughs> surgery because they don't want me to like rub my nose obviously because that's where they're yeah, in. yeah, but like, she's hooked up to two IVs now. The IV thing kind of terrible just because my veins are like... They finally weird. let me come back here. Yeah. Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. No, you can do it. You know what, I did, but I should probably go again. Because I'm not getting anything. Mm. No. You look beautiful. You look really beautiful. I like the I like this bonnet. It looks fancy. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be the longest four hours of my life. Do sure. You're gonna do good. Thank you. <laughs> what? Yeah, that's all right. 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 Yeah, that's all
I'm just nervous. It made your heart rate fill up. <laughs> I love you. It's gonna be good. I'm gonna be right here after. spending time with ourselves, um, but then all the doctors ended up coming in and, and they got real. <laughs> they got real, real fast um, and just like hit us both. We both fucking crying um, as they're like wheeling our way, but definitely got real in that moment. And it's like, it's not really like a, they rarely have anything happen, you know, but I just think it's the thought of surgery. I think it's the thought of where they're having surgery on her. The anxious feelings gotta build up. And that's your partner, you know. I just hate seeing her like this, you know? Like I said, it's like a it's like a happy feeling too. It's not just like sad. It's like a happy feeling of like, you ready for what's to come. But I mean, this is our life. This is our path and everything. We're meant to be right in this, this spot that we are right now. Like I'm trying not to cry and like show that. But like these are true feelings right now. These are true emotions right now. And you know, our life isn't perfect. It's like, that's why we document this stuff. Especially this because after we have our kids, we have the big fucking family that we want. They gonna be able to watch this back. And they gonna be able to see how strong their mom is. Now, I'm lucky to have a partner like that. A wife as strong as she is that's gonna be raising my kids. I'm probably gonna get off the camera, y'all. Because if I don't, I'm gonna be fucking crying the whole time. And I'm gonna be sitting here thinking about it. So I'm probably gonna finish, like go get some food or something. <laughs> or just like coffee. And uh, keep my mind busy. Keep my mind busy until she's out. They gonna be calling me. They said around 11, 11 a.m. So thank you guys for for watching, support, feeling like we have, like we, this is our space we can come and talk to, you know. Like I said, I knew everything was gonna go good. It was just that like gut wrenching feeling of like she's. You know, sitting in there, they're working on her brain, they went through her nose, like, I didn't even know what to say to him when he just called, like, <sighs> there's still
still working on her. Like, I guess he did his part by taking the tumor out. He said he got all of it out. Um, we're gonna be able to see it in the MRI tomorrow. Pretty much, she's gonna be in the ICU. And then he said around one o'clock. I love you, okay? I love you. <laughs> Gosh. You already talked to the surgeon. Yes, I. Yeah, he he called. Good. Yeah, I think it's just for the Lambo. Yeah. Oh, she's gonna take a seat. Um, she's okay. gonna She said it's a, a lot. Okay, so we're in the ICU, which is pretty much intensive care. From here, it's it's just, they're gonna be watching her really closely with this surgery because it's really close to the brain, the nerves of the brain. They have move, almost like move nerves that has to do with her bladder um, that could cause leaking in their brain that they have to watch. Um, they have, they have the, the nerve with the bladder too, they have to watch because if she's peeing too much, then it could cause um, some type of just something, something uh, like a diabetic. I don't know what exactly what they were saying, but <clears throat> it's hard to like relay information. I'm trying to like do everything all at once, but pretty much like they're monitoring her pee. It's literally right here. But they have a catheter, catheter, a catheter hooked up to her. They put it in actually while she was in surgery, so that. This could be happening, draining into there without her even going. It's like almost like connected into her into her bladder. They said that uh, they're always here just in case for any type of like blood clot or anything like that because it's so close and it's the brain that they just need to monitor her in the ICU for 24 hours. That way, intensive care is pretty much, if something goes wrong, they can get to her really quick. We're in here for the night. I'm gonna be sleeping on the chair over there. She did really good with surgery. She did so good with surgery, they said. They said that there was no complications with the actual surgery, that he was able to take everything out. You guys heard him. And we're gonna be getting an MRI tomorrow to make sure of that. Maybe a little bit. But I asked him to keep it, and he said no. We just wanted some ice cream. <laughs> we just wanted some ice cream. Does that hurt to touch right there? You're swollen a little bit. You can see it a little bit. You can see it just like in here. I don't know if you guys can see it, but like in here, she's swelling. It almost looks a little black right here, but that could be you from being tired and just exhausted. She looks very beautiful. Thank you. Put this wire in, in there. You're looking a little more like Chucky. <laughs> actually, there was actually a few people. <laughs> that saw that Montana was in here. Some people tried to call and they left good messages and good prayers for Montana. Uh, that was the one clip. That was the one clip that I had took. I was telling her that some of you guys called. They were just wishing you well and praying. I wanted to tell you that. Yeah, and it had to make you happy. <laughs> Somebody left some flowers, but we can't have them in here right now. 
uh, and a note. And I just want to read the note because it's kind of like fan mail. So praying for you on this path to better health. The one who made us knows how to mend us gently, wisely, and patiently. Dear Montana, wishing you a speedy recovery and hoping each day brings you closer to feeling like yourself again. Take this time to rest, recharge, and know you're surrounded by love and support. We're here for you. Get well soon. Warm regards, Janelle and Maso. Those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. Praying you'll sense God's perfect care for you as each day brings you renewed strength and health. Well, thank you so much to Janelle and myself really appreciate that i wish i could have been here when y'all were here but like barely what he was telling me and just like yeah i was emotional feel like the merc fam you know yeah and trust me i've been having <laughs> many interactions myself all the love and support that you guys are showing really got us into this process with ease i posted something on my instagram but it really got us yeah. of this whole process because this brings like a lot of stress a lot of anxiety you know this this is a crazy process like this surgery turned out the way that it did because i had you guys in my heart you guys made me confident and believe that i was gonna be okay yeah yeah, all the stories that you guys opened up to us in our DMs and our comments to in person about things you guys have gone through. We love that so much that we can we can really bond and grow as a family. I mean, it honestly means the world to us. Yeah. I feel like I haven't stopped like, crying all day. I don't know when we ever did to just our family that we have. I'm sure I'm slowing. A little bit. Not a lot. You're gonna swell, you said. You'll probably start to see it now more tomorrow, next three days, but you will you look amazing. Trying to force me to go home.